Hello everyone. Uh, today we continue with the uh, state uh, state fun widgets and we demo use the test view widgets. Uh, so in this lesson we continue from the previous lesson and uh, I place the widgets to a separated file. We define a new file or dart file and uh, then I place the code for uh, the widgets inside this file. So, for example, if you have the file my uh, my app dot uh, then we place the my app uh, widgets inside this file, and uh, in main dot I import the my app dot dot, and then I can run uh, call the my app inside uh, this file, and it work normally as uh, from the previous lesson. So there are some files, for example, test file. You can remove test file, uh, and you can also remove unnecessary file. Uh, so in this stage, we have state widgets, and uh, now we have stateful widgets. What about stateful widgets? Uh, stateful widgets are inside uh, these widgets. We have uh, some state. State mean uh, that's some variable, some object, uh, and this object binding to the user interface. When the object is changed, the view is recalled. Uh, so each stateful widget has two classes. Uh, one public class is then from stateful widgets, and this uh, class is visible when you call outside this uh, file. And the second class is a private class. And this private class contains a view UI function and contains state. Okay. So it is quite clear when we define a class, a stateful widget, we must define two classes. One class extends from the stateful widget, and the second class is the private class which extends from the stateful uh, of the widgets, the state of the widgets and uh, the private class must implement the build function to reload the user interface when the state changes. Uh, so the child here, uh, the child here is uh, uh, the, the children to try up uh, the center is text. So inside my app, I define the label parameter for the constructor with two parameter uh, name and age okay and reload the program again and some error because you have to uh, add material app inside so the material app is uh, the, the, the widgets for material design using by Google and inside the uh, Stephon uh, material app we have uh, the home property and uh, the home property normally use scaffold widgets and inside scaffold widgets we can add my you know, center text etc inside this uh, widgets so we display to the screen the text mean it is a stateful widgets and uh, you can also style the, the text using style with the objects of objects of uh, textile with font size color yes for for easier to understand we use a red color yes and reload the program again to see the output so uh, now this is called name is is state no it is not state it is only the property of the state phone widgets and uh, it is public yes and it is uh, uh, it is public and it is it, it can uh, you know, transfer pr the property from outer from you know, external widgets to the my app uh, so if you want to, to to call the name you must use syntax uh, this dot widgets and dot property name of public stateful widgets. 
okay so this is called property of props um, so the try here you can uh, choose uh, the you, you you can choose the column the column means that uh, inside the column we we have multiple uh, widgets for example we have multiple text inside uh, this column the column can contain many uh, child or it is called children so the children here is uh, maybe may, may a list the children here uh, is an array of widgets okay so in this case we have a three we have a three uh, uh, child widgets text we have a three text inside the widgets so each text uh, displays uh, a separate information so we choose this is line one similarly to uh, second text this is line two yes and we have a three text widgets and we reload the program again to see uh, three line and we also have the, the option to uh, to distribute uh, the children or the uh, every child of the column main ASIC alignment here to center and we have a two two uh, property of column two main property of column uh, main ASIC alignment and cross ASIC alignment you can modify the property for this uh, alignment to align the uh, the internal children by column or by row etc reload the program again so it is in the seat center so if you remove some and uh, remove the first and I, I, I replace with the uh, test view the test view has property of decoration or uh, uh, the type of input decoration Input decoration allow you to set border to uh, the text field, set the uh, label text for the text field. Uh, for example, label text is a hint text for uh, user to enter your uh, enter your information. For example, enter your name, enter your email, etc. So type the information inside the text field and uh, this is called the input decoration uh, so we, we replace the input decoration with container and the container has a child uh, test field then uh, uh, command s to re to to uh, save this file uh, we change the padding the padding to um, we use padding inset a symmetric uh, symmetric uh, mean vertical or horizontally vertical mean top or bottom and horizontal mean left and right so we choose uh, by using horizontal 20 and vertically is um, about uh, 10 okay it is good so we have the space the, the space for the content of the container and the container here is outside of the text field the container is uh, now outside of the stage view. So inside the border, we can change the border radius. The border radius uh, is on value, is unchanged value. So we can use a constant uh, border radius all. So the border radius for for own duration up, now down, left, right. Okay. Uh, so this is also called uh, a constant so uh, the value here is content radius dot circular uh, 20 pixel yes you can change uh, the, the size and see the output yes you change the size and uh, you reload the program reload the code to see uh, the output to display yes uh, so now what about the uh, so below the text field uh, we can add more uh, we can add more widgets 
below the test view and uh, in this case we want to to display the state the state mean uh, the state here mean the value the text value you type to your test view what you type in your text view is a state because it is internal change and it is affect to the user interface to the what to what you see uh, so this is state I define it as email. The email here is only access inside the my state, my app state, and it is binding with the user interface uh, uh, or in uh, or with the text field. Okay, so in this case, how to get value from text field? Use a controller or uh, text editing controller so we define a text editing controller object and I initialize the, the, the uh, email editing controller to the object of text editing controller and the controller is binding to the, the controller property of the text view yes so the, so controller property of text view is the email editing controller yes so uh, when you change when you change the text inside the text view we uh, we have the function on change uh, the method on change has the property text text here mean the value you type to the text view yeah. and you change that by uh, calling the function zip dot set state so every comma inside the function of this set state you can change the state inside this so the state here is email the content of the email uh, is a content of text you type to the text view okay and after to you you set this value this value the build function is called again, is reload again to reload the user interface. Yes. So the second text is uh, I get the value of controller by uh, using email dot what? So the the, the email uh, firstly is a blank string. Okay. So when you type the value inside the text view, the value is dis uh, displayed in text view, in, in the text widgets. So it is very clear when you want to change uh, the value of the state and the value of state affect to the use interface to display in the text. So here, it is only called inside uh, the stateful widgets. Yeah. It is called state. Okay. Uh, so I change a little bit, change the result here. Yes, see the result here. So when you type, yes, when you type the email, then the value is saved and and uh, change state. After changing state, it will display the value in the text because the text here get the value of the state okay so uh, is this quite clear to use this, this example to help you understand about uh, test view and state so this is the end of my lesson today thanks for watching bye bye